Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Lillian, Lillian from Kenya to Montana, USA. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. For those who just come view and go, please consider subscribing, leave comments, like, and yeah, all that make my content go viral out there and attract so many people. So thank you so much for for being here with me and um basically i talk about the uh, nursing life and um migrating from your country to usa because that's what i did and being a new um being a, a new person like a new immigrant in usa i want i want to give my life out there so that anybody can take what is positive and look at the negative way negative side of me or anything I did, um, the wrong choices I made so that you can take, you can correct. I don't want you to do the wrong things. And But I've always told you, most of the things are very positive and I would like most of you to take the positive, <laughs> positive things that I did like coming to USA. Really important as a nurse. So, uh, and I talk about the first year because the first year of your relocation because it's the most, um, people say very difficult moment. Yeah, it's, you, you're struggling, you're trying to settle down, you're trying to, like, start life. Starting life in a new continent is not that easy, but when you have people who are going to guide you, like I'm here, telling you um, some things that some directions that you might help you just for the few months that you start. Like I want to tell you today, the new nurses who are coming or you are coming to USA and you're a student or you are new. Basically, you're new, you're coming, you don't have money. The thing is, you do not have money. You're living pocket to mouth. So like when you're making those duties, let's talk about that making your schedules because in the usa most of the time you do make your schedules although the management your manager might change a few things but then you are the one who make the the schedule personally i do make schedule but my you know you follow the there's a guideline that you need to follow and if you follow it just correctly you find um you, you your schedule is being followed but if you mess up some places that your manager will have to move you because work has to be done and you have to have full coverage of the hospital or where are you going to work. So let me uh, let me tell you some of the some of the shifts that you need to pick as a new person because uh, I already said when you're still new it's not like you want to go for picnics or you want to go for vacations and you're still struggling to to fit in. So make your weekends, Weekends your best time to work. Pick on those Fridays, Saturdays. Don't pick on Sunday. I will tell you why. Don't pick on Sunday. So go for Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Make sure you pick those shifts. Like schedule, schedule yourself on those shifts. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Don't pick on Sunday. I will let you know why you don't pick on Sunday. Watch on a Sunday, Kwanzaa. I usually I used to see my friend picking like. I make oh sorry he's chose uh made a schedule like Friday Saturday Sunday he's working all week all weekend he's working so don't leave this Sunday first so then uh you know you you need you want to look for money go for night shifts so you're doing a night shift and you're working on weekend those are shifts that have allowances. So you're working on night shift, you'll get an extra pay per hour. You're working on night shift, I mean night shift, you're getting a, an extra pay per hour. You're working on a weekend, you're getting an extra pay per an hour. On these holidays, most of the time they schedule people for holidays like in a year. For example, today I know whether I'm going to work in January, 1st of January next year. They already scheduled that's the work of the manager to do. But just keep that holiday like we had memorial. Don't don't have like don't make so much plans for that day. 
it will be a day for you just to relax. Why? Because these are the days that the workplaces or the hospitals, they don't have people to work. Sundays, most of the people don't go to work on Sundays. And most of the time you'll see in the morning messages coming through. We need people to work. That's your day to pick up. And you know a pick up is an extra. In fact, it's like one and a half. So if you, you didn't put a you didn't schedule yourself on a Sunday, now you have this opportunity when those messages come in the morning, like we need people to come through. You are going to get this is now an extra extra, yeah. You're going to get an extra for the weekend and you're going to get an extra because it's an extra of your shift. That's how people like try to try to make it. It's not like you want to work seven days in a week, but it's um I mean it's the way you choose your shift. So don't pick on a Sunday, pick on a weekend. Night weekend is Friday, Saturday. So pick on weekends and then this Sunday. Most of the time, they will not have people to work and they will send messages. They want people on Sunday. So just be your, on Sunday, keep in your mind that they might need people and be ready to call and say you are available so that you'll be working that Sunday. And then that Sunday, if they don't call, Go and do your thing, go to church, go shopping, go have fun. And then when it gets to 4 p.m., make that call. Ask them, do you need people? Do you need anyone? I'm available. I'm just checking if you need someone. I've done that like three times and I was so yeah, we need people. So they didn't send messages in the morning. But when it got to 4 p.m., I called and asked, "Do you?" Need? I was just checking if you need people to work tonight. And I was like, yeah, you Give us like 20 minutes, we are going to confirm. And then they confirm in five minutes, they call back and say, yeah, you can come to work. So Sunday is the best day to to pick up because there will be opportunities. And then holidays is also a good time to pick up because people have gone for to meet their families, to meet their friends, to go, they've gone picnic, they've gone outing. So you are available on that holiday. You'll get those messages. And if you don't get the messages, call in the evening and ask, do you need anybody? Yeah. Yeah, you get an extra shift. You get an extra pay. So, guys, that these days, the, like, picking your shift, though, don't be, like, don't like those Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. They're not going to give you any extra. So, go for weekends. Leave Sundays for extra shifts on your schedule. Although you might need to put like one or two, like one or two Sunday for the manager to see at least you you are you are you are working all the days, but then you have your own intentions. So guys, uh, those are just a few of the things you need to do. We also said you need to go. The hospital will have those, uh, the institution have those um, academic things. They want you to study. They want you to do exams. They want to, so have those, um, go through, do them and budge in your hours. Those hours you've studied, put in and you get an extra coin. Uh, it, you know, when you are here, like a dollar is a, is a lot of money. I know when you are here, you are the one working. One dollar is a lot of money for you. But back home, if you give someone one dollar, we think like this is not much because I know here you work for it. That one dollar you work for it. But when you send someone one dollar at home, he thinks like or she thinks like this is not the kind of money you should be sending. But anyways, any money it's counted here and it's very important and you have to work for it. Okay, guys, so um, for those who have been, uh, those who want to interact with me live, I'm, I'm always live on TikTok. I go live on TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, consider looking for Lillian. You'll find me there. I know I've got fans from TikTok and I saw them coming to YouTube. Thank you so much. Please consider going through all those, all those uh, videos. I get questions and I, 
those most of those questions are already in the videos in my channel so just take time and go through because i'll not be able to to summarize a whole clip like you come and ask me about what i've just talked about i can't type for you all the things that i've talked about here that i'll direct redirect you to this video to come and watch so unless you need clarification but if you're asking something about the clip that i already have please i will still redirect you back here so thank you so much guys i had missed you and i thought of coming to youtube but then if you have time let's go to tiktok and make fun yeah thank you so much see you next